Hey YouTube, um, today I have the HCC HD2 from uh, T-Mobile. This is the American version, not the European unlocked version. And um, recently there's been a large topic about uh, porting Android 2.1, 2.2, and um, the Hero ROMs and Desire ROMs onto um, this device. And um, yesterday, some Italian website and um, and gadget posted uh posted articles about how they got um, foil 2.2 to run on this thing, and um, since then a lot of people have been asking where to find the links to download the ROM and also how to put the ROM basically on your phone and let Android run, and um, basically I'm here to help you guys. Um, so first thing you need to do is uh, you have to have your phone well your phone has to be has to have hard SPO basically um, um, I guess I'll provide a link in the description on how to hard SPO your phone um, and then basically to view make sure I have it it says my ROM version is Kumar's if this thing will let it focus well, apparently right here it says Kumar's T-Mobile USC 2.2 WWE um, which basically means it's a custom ROM anyways um um what is it um so basically what you're gonna need to do is uh first like I said you need a hard SPL your phone which I have here Okay, I will provide the link in the description. Um, basically, basically, you just read this article. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, and then just follow the directions. And then, yep, that's about it. And then, um, anyways, um, onto the thing. So then, I have the link in the description on uh, Mega Upload. Um, basically, you know, to just download it, download it. And then, yep. And then, any other like updates or future reference on a uh, on uh, the Android build itself, um, you can go to the XDA developers, and they have a uh, this post on there, which I will also provide in the descript description link. And um, onto the thing. So after you download the the file from Mega Upload, which I uh, have the link in the description. You're going to want to double click it, open the RER file, and then you see, you'll see that there's two folders, Android and readme.txt. Um, so you're going to want to ex basically just drag and drop the an entire Android folder onto your SD card, which you should have in your phone. Um, hold up, let me do that real fast. Where's that SD card? There it is. Sorry about that. So what you want to do, plug it in. And then I already have, I've already run and ran um, an Android before, so there's some files here that I might have that you might not have. And then, um, basically, like I said, you basically take the Android folder, which is over here, and you just drag and drop it into, just dra drag and drop it into the root of your SD card, which is basically the first page when you open up the contents of your SD card. I already have it here. It highlight in the blue right here, Android. So then it has um, some files underneath of it. So when you put it back into your SD card, you're going to want to write run CR, CLR CAD first. Just double click it, um, and then uh, it appears that nothing will happen. Like when you double click it, it'll just nothing will happen. It'll just stay there. Um, nothing's supposed to happen. 
and then right after you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna double click the herit.exe and then it should just boot up the Android system. So let me try to get that running right now. Um, for some reason, it um, frequent frequently goes in kind of like a turbo mode. I don't know if you guys seen that before in some other builds, but I've had that problem kind of, and I'm just hoping this time it won't run in turbo mode, so it'll actually look normal. Um, so here you go, and uh, all right. So you're gonna want to go to the Windows menu, Tools, File Explorer. Uh, you're gonna want to go to storage card and then I have and then you're gonna want to open the Android folder sorry for the camera it's really I don't know it's really not working or something with me today like you'll focus on everything else around me but the phone so open up the Android folder and like I said you're gonna want to run you're gonna want to run. Oh my God. You're gonna want to run C L R C A D, which is right here, or supposed to, should be right here. And you, you double click it. Nothing happens. Nothing opens. And then after, you're gonna want to click. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Before you do anything else, you're gonna want to go to settings, and you're going to want to go to the sound and display and then you're gonna wanna change your backlight uncheck the box that says automatically adjust backlight because um, if you do this the phone will it'll, when it's booting up it'll boot up into like a really like dim screen like even lower than this right now which it just turned and um, it's gonna be really really hard to see so you might as well uncheck it you're gonna go to tools and then like I said you run C C L R C A D and you're gonna wanna click on heret.exe and it's gonna say boot up Linux. And it's gonna have all this stuff. And it's basically checking for the hardware. And the screen's gonna look like it's dying down, like it'll look like it's graying out for like it'll turn really dim and then it'll just that means it it's working. And you're gonna see a box. This takes about a minute or two, but it works. And then if it does boot up, you'll see the Android guy. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like they stenciled it out or drew it out this it'll stay here for about a minute or 30 seconds just gotta wait for it okay so when it does boot up you're gonna see yeah, I think it's running in turbo mode, like the, you can see the background running real fast. Um, anyways, like, you'll see, it'll basically boot up, you unlock it. I don't know, mine says something's not responding, I just click wait, and then, I mean, everything else runs. I mean, there's Android 2.2 for you. Um, I don't know, for some reason, everything works, it's just the fact that everything runs on, like, crack, basically. So then when you pull up the menu and I want to scroll, it won't let me and it'll just pull out some other icon. I have to un uh, not uninstall it. Um, Wi-Fi is working. I Sorry if you can't see that, but I do have a Wi-Fi signal bar right there. Um, and then, um, yeah, so let me, let's see the browser. So like I said, Google loads up and then just... I don't know, ABC.